Alrighty, you guys ready to fly? Yes. Okay. And Griffith traffic, this is Pipe Warrior 438, Sierra Lima, departing runway 26. Griffith. Alright, clear on the left, clear on the right. Here we go, Cam. Hey, Griff Traffic, this is Pipe Warrior 438, Sierra Lima, just off of runway 26. We'll be departing the pattern to the northeast. Griffith. How high do we? Um, we'll probably only go up to about 2,000 a day, just because it keeps you here so you can see things better. First time flying, Cameron? Yeah? I don't, I'm playing this small. <laughs> Got some seagulls right over here, see them? Oh. Flying up with the seagulls. Did you see them? Cool, eh? Cameron's been on a plane several times. He's been a lot of places, actually. He just got okay. back from uh, Minnesota, too. Wow. All of America. Way up there. I, my dad, when I was uh, about 16, he was working a job up there in, uh, in Minnesota. So we spent the week with him one time. Because he was traveling a lot for work and uh, went to Mall of America. So for my, I think it was for my 16th birthday, I went there. So I rode on a bunch of the rides and Happy. all the different stores and pretty neat up there. Chalmers traffic, I your 433. Into Texas, Times, California, and Florida. California, you've got BB out. I haven't been to California yet. One one. Ah. <laughs> oh, wow. It's pretty neat, eh? Dennis, can you see the ice? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's ice that comes out there and it builds up. I've actually walked out on it, way out on it before. You gotta be careful when you do it. I'll do a couple of loops around here so you can see it. The sand dunes, Cam? Looks a ice. lot different from this angle, doesn't it? Just a yeah. little bit. That ice is amazing. <laughs> Can't quite tell how high Whoa, it is. Cool. Woo! Somebody out on the dunes. See him walking out there? Yeah. Looks like he's waving. Probably looking to see who's flying over. Right. Cover traffic. Then we can go a little bit further up and there's some more of them up here as well. That was cool, huh, bud? This is where they're... Have you been out to the new beach house here? No. Oh, they've got a new beach house and, and uh, it's a pretty popular place. Kind of off the beaten trail, so a lot of people don't know about it yet. But if you go right up here, there's that little building there. Okay. Right before, like where the river comes in. Drive up to it and go. Yep. Oh. I'll put it right off of our wing, and then we can do another turn around it. Yeah, and you just follow that little road right back there, and then that heads it in. So it almost is like you're headed in towards the mill, but then you switch and uh, go over here to the beach house. Oh, yeah. Right there. And then the beach, obviously, that goes up that way is where they do the swimming. But a lot of those, uh, like those guys that 
fail on those, almost looks like a surfboard thing, they'll, yeah. they'll ride along the side of that breaker wall there. Because they can, uh, I guess they can get good wind there. It is always super windy right through there, usually. Wow, so. I never knew that. That ice reminds me like we're riding on top of Antarctica or something. <laughs> Chamber traffic, Cessna 140 turning base, runway 11 Chamber. See, with the ice builds up, see how cool it is to walk on them? You just gotta be really careful because sometimes they'll break loose. But I've gone out on them before, they're pretty neat. As long as it's not a really windy day, you're pretty safe. Runway 28, we're gonna go back out and do the ILF. This is right where Rob had Emma's party at. Oh, okay. See the big old building? Been yeah. there forever. I never in my life would have thought to come here to walk out on the ice. Yeah, it's pretty neat. You just gotta be careful, because this is actually, see the first guy there? That's where the beach is, right where the end of our wing is. See that guy out there? Yeah. That's where the beach starts. Now, all this walking that they've doing, way out there, that's all ice. Ice, they're out over the lake. Wow. Here, I'll dip the wing a little bit more for you. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Hi. That is pretty neat how big the ice gets out here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Ben Arbor traffic, money. Usually there's not Canada, that many people out there, so I've never seen that many. Usually when I'm out there, I'm the only one out there by myself. Wow. Oh. But I've come out here a few times. Pretty neat. See how high they build up there? You can really see how high they get there. That is Arbor traffic, Dakota 451 X-ray. Their big so, cooling tower there. I have to ask, did your wife What's that? take your wife or fiance at the time up here to propose? Actually, what I did uh, to propose is there's a. I'm from the Upper Peninsula, of Michigan, but right off the Door Peninsula, there's an island called Washington Island out there. Okay. Really beautiful. And uh, on that island, they've got this chapel on the island. It's it's from the old like Scandinavian country. It's all built out of. It almost looks Gothic, but it's not. It's a it's a almost a Slavic almost style of uh, building. It's got the. It's built completely out of wood. It's only. It's very small. It's a small. It's one room like church chapel, and it's all built completely out of wood. And it's of that old European style. And um, it's called the Stavkirk um, Chapel. And you can look it up, uh, it's online there and stuff, um, but Washington Island's really beautiful. And it's it's got this little grass strip, that's all it's got on the whole island, this little grass strip that you come in and land. So I had told her about Washington Island before and how nice it was and how neat it was and how I wanted her to see it. So what I did is I flew her over there just acting like, hey, you know, this is, because it was her first time to visit the UP or, or anything. Oh, okay. So I took her, flew over there, we landed in... That morning it snowed because oh. it was uh, I proposed to her in January okay. and uh, the end of January going into February 
and uh, it just snowed, so we landed on the freshly, you know, fresh snow on the runway, landed, and I had a friend there, uh, acquaintance, that had a car that I could use. So we jumped in the car, because it's obviously on an island, so you, uh, you only have a few different cars out there, and uh, we drove around, I showed her different parts of the island and, and everything, and she was like, oh, that's neat, and then I was like, well, she's a, she's a history major, that's what she took for college, for teaching, oh. and, um, and she's always wanted to visit Europe, and she's into European architect and into European stuff and everything. So I said, well, there's this really neat European chapel that you should see. So then I took her there. We walked down there. And uh, I was showing it to her and everything. And then I proposed to her there. So she was, she was pretty surprised. That's <laughs> awesome. It was a lot of fun. So I knew I wanted to incorporate flying into it. But I didn't want to actually be in the air while I did it because... I just didn't want to because then I would, I, I, when I'm flying, I usually like to concentrate on flying. Although I could talk and do all this stuff, sure. you know, I wanted it to be that, uh, I wanted to be able to put a little bit more concentration into it. So, okay. uh, so we flew over to the island, proposed there. Plus, the joke was, if she said no, I would just leave her there and then come <laughs> back and say, did you change your mind yet? Right, <laughs> right. You don't have, you don't have the option, <laughs> you don't have the option to get back off the island anytime soon. Since the ferry's not going anyway. That's good. Oh, uh, yeah. But, no. So, that's where, uh, that's where I propose, and, uh. There's 8094 right there. Wind 020 at 7, visibility 20. Ceiling 4500 broken. Temperature 3, dew point minus 3, now temperature 3014. Visual approach runway 2 in use, landing and departing runway 2. Ground control for vehicles only, contact tower 125.6 for all aircraft services. Notice to Hammond, runway 12 arrivals, construction 600 feet to 2,000 feet northwest of the landing threshold, pavement aligned with the runway and the railroad. Crane operating 4 miles west, 1,065 feet MSL. Unlit tower 1.3 miles east southeast of the airport, 699 feet MSL. Unlit tower 4.2 miles northwest of the airport, 330 feet AGL. Birds, deer, Cody activity on or about the airport. Migratory waterfowl throughout Class Delta airspace. Special contact advise you have information. Fox Drive. And Griffith traffic, that's Pipe Warrior 438, Sierra Lima. Turn in left base for runway 8, Griffith. And clear on the right over there. Looking good, coming down. Got a train over there on the right there, Cameron. You want to see it? Pretty cool. And Griffith traffic, this is Pipe Warrior 438, Sierra Lima, turn and final, runway 8, Griffith. Coming in for a landing, buddy. Down on the ground. That was awesome. Well, thank you. Wow. That was the best one yet, huh, buddy?
Uh, Griffin traffic, uh, Swift uh, 21 Fox Alpha is back taxiing runway 8, Hobart, or uh, Griffin. Wow, that is one neat beach craft. <laughs> Pretty neat.